now. Hello, everybody. Hi. You can't see us yet, but you can hear us. And that's for good intro. <sighs> Good reason, in fact, because uh, if you can see on your screen all of a sudden, we're going to be talking about this today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave that there because it's just pretty. It just looks good. But it is uh, Jared's today with uh, the incredible Mr. MDP. Hey, Mike. Hello, there, Jared. Oh, nice to be here again. Dude, Feels like a long time. It's been a long time. So, yeah, you're going to be playing you. today. If you... Oh, my. Oh, wow. This is going to be rough. It's all right. <laughs> totally. Totally. I've been saving myself till I can... Uh... Play this at home. Ooh. Oh, man, I've been playing it out here. It's been super fun. All right, so let's see. Is that Snoke in the background? <laughs> <laughs> well spotted, yes. Well, yes, Good. in fact, yep. there is a Star Wars, Lord of the Rings yeah, crossover that we're working on. It's, it here, I can make us disappear again. There you go. Looks pretty. Which one was Snoke? Uh, I'm pretty sure that he's talking about the giant eyes in the background. Oh, right, now that's Anakin. That's Anakin. <laughs> But hello, everybody. I would like to say hello to seeing all you guys. We're going to be talking about Blade of Gladriel today. It's going to be fantastic. We'll show you some gameplay, have some MDP gameplay, which is always a really fun. It's going to be a fiasco. And a fiasco. <laughs> well, the best kind of fiasco. Mm. Uh, well, I'm going to actually, we can pause, but we want to make sure we don't go to the RV screen because mm. we want to keep some things still secret and hidden mm -hmm. away. But so just That's the thing. I'm really, even versus the last game, just... I really want to keep the spoilers to a minimum on this one because there's some fun surprises. Definitely. I Absolutely. I just saw someone say Michael De Platter in there and I immediately read Michael De Pla Palantir. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, Michael De Palantir would be Palantir. pretty fun. Palantir. The Palantir. Oh, but anyway, let's. let's uh, I'm going to give people a moment just to at least see this guy because he's one of the new. Uh, but that's all I'm saying. He's one of the new. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. Oh, this guy here? Yeah, but. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. But that's fine. Go ahead and press B when you're ready to go. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, we have the incredible Ms. Eltariel. Beautifully like oh, no. Your phone hey, is sorry. ringing! Sorry. I can't talk now. <laughs> you answered stream. it! Okay, bye. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Cooper Chance, Shadow Lord, Strength of the Pure, okay. Rick Jarvis, Sam Ross. Good to see you guys, Verbans. Good to see you as well. Normally we start talking to you guys and saying hello, 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 Zende, Switch King, the One Freeman, Vampire Luigi, great name, Christopher Patrick. Normally I love to read off all your guys' names, but we have this right now, so we'll be reading that in momentarily. There's those two missing fingers. It's yeah. Cool. Oh, the light. Oh, that looks fantastic. Yeah, it's cool. Ooh, so we're, uh, we're going to be hiding some uh, or showing some stuff and talking about stuff but let's begin with a very basic one before we do this okay tell me a little bit how one recruits orcs in the blade of galadriel ah well that's really interesting so i think it is but you know I, I mean, i'm pretty I biased also, that's why we're talking yep. about it um but eltariel has the new ring uh oh oh, oh look at uh -oh. it oh no <laughs> That was, I was not quite ready there. You just just go to that while I sort this out. Okay, okay all right, everybody. Let me tell you guys a little. Uh, <laughs> he sorts this out a bit. <laughs> all right, so uh, recruitment of orcs in political Admiral is very interesting, based upon the fact that if you remember that Eltariel herself said. Like, I, she did not like the idea of using the ring. That was something that Galadriel encouraged her in that first cinematic we showed you two weeks ago. So there's a different ring that Eltario will be. I had to go through a lot of trouble to track you down. The least you can do in return is make sure I have a good time killing you. There's a different way that Eltario will do the actual recruiting, which we'll show you momentarily once uh, I can get Mike. Get Mike. <laughs> Feel free to kill him, I guess, if you'd like. But I do believe that we have um, uh, more to show people today. In fact, all guys... Right, all right. Oh, he's laid down there. He did, yeah, but we... I mean, people are going to have a lot of questions. What the whole... Like, why is he glowing? What was the little, like, hand power thing? Keep using execution. Uh, Hunter Affleck asks, can you... Free roam after the Blade of Galadriel story. I believe the answer to the one is yes. After you play all the story missions, you can continue to play it. You've shown off Ignited. We were going to hide that one for a little bit, but why not? It's pretty awesome. Oh, a light gem. Yeah, but well, we're not going to explain that one too bit yet, all right? Cool. Uh, yes, so sorry. May I, may I return <laughs> to your earlier question now that he oh, has that been fun. lit? <laughs> ignited specifically. Ignited. Yes, so she refuses to use the ring for mm -hmm. the purpose of domination right. um, and coercing the orcs to join us. So 
to some extent, for various reasons that we don't want to spoil too much, they are joining you voluntarily. Right. Um, in some ways, it's a little bit more like Ratbag, I think, was with Talion. Oh, I did. So they're retaining their personalities. Mm -hmm. Mordor, at this time, of course, is in a, a state of uproar and civil what, war. What is the time right now in our shadow? So as we can see from Eltariel's fingers, um, this is after... Mm -hmm. The end of Act 3, so after the, the Bright Lord is now the union of Celebrimbor and Sauron on top of Barad-dur. Right. And the newest Nazgul, or the newest one to join the ranks, Talion now has the Ring of Isildur. It's, we're just going to spoil everything right now. That's just, it was, you did that last week. We did. I know. No, no. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just letting you guys know. We are. Like, it's the end of the game. Yes. Like, yes. Spoiler warning. Yeah, I'm yes. not making fun of you. Yes. I'm straight up letting you. <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was unclear. Yeah, we did that two weeks ago. We like that's the end of Shadow. I forgot to announce as a reminder. Big spoilers. Um, Should have said that. Yeah, but um, it's it's been out. It's the DLC first gameplay. And so, in order <laughs> to recruit the orcs, she's actually persuading them right. to join her, either by you know impressing her them with her skills. Mm -hmm. See, I see Adam Atkinson saying date, 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 date. We'll tell you later, but it will, we'll let you know today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will let you know today, though. So pay attention a little bit. Can I? It's soon. You want to say it? You want to just ignore? Yeah, we can just say it now if you want to, but we just have to keep saying it because people are going to be watching. We'll say it again. Yeah. 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 But um, it's like next Tuesday. It is next Tuesday. Tuesday, the 6th of February. So that's what I've been saving. I was actually wanted to play this in context <laughs> at, at home. Yeah, so it's um, basically, guys, we're going to show you a bunch of stuff today because we want to make you have the shortest of waits and also the most painful of ones because now you didn't even know you were waiting for it and now you can see a bunch of cool stuff. So, yep, there it is. There's the chat responding to that. Where, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so if all you guys are trying to finish up... Uh, Oh, sorry. Get ready, boys! <laughs> this will drive the buggers out! Meet the bone seeker! If you save enough of his workers, you will gain his favor. Alright, so, for this, do the light, because it's the coolest, like, way to win this mission. It's just so, because you can use light to burn things away. It's an, it's an Italian Olog? Oh man, when we talked, we made the line about, like, they're kind of like Ratbag. Imagine the interesting personalities that was Ratbag and how his, like, much he was involved with Talion. And, oh, the light is really fun. Someone who appreciates what I'm doing here! What is it that you're die. doing here? Only the greatest architectural achievement in Mordor, the first of its kind. And He's on his side, man. You're <laughs> killing his dudes. All forms of attack. <laughs> still, you can work with them, but you still need to, you still need to send a message. Let's say <laughs> I'm not against you. Alright, so we're being quiet right now because we don't want to talk over his lines. Uh, but the thing is, is so, uh, if you could explain, Mike. So we're playing this mission involving the Architect, and you mentioned involving, like, Ratbag, Olog, Da Vinci, Celebron, best name ever. And um, the idea being that... Oh, here we go, with more ghouls coming. The idea being that we are trying to recruit them via, like, a quid pro quo. Yeah, they have their goals, um, their own... So, in his case... He's the architect. He has glorious plans for Mordor. And if you can actually be of use to him and help him in those plans, he's going to be willing to reciprocate and help you out. Right. So could you fail if you bring him? Indeed you could. If you fail to, you know, in the objective here, which is in fact to um, defend him, then he's not going to be, you know, if you don't help him, he's not going to be helping you. Right. But it's just really moving away from that idea of it being about the ring of power and coercion to really working together with these forms. And I think it just really speaks to just the state that Mordor is in at this time, where there is just so much chaos and infighting. They're willing to work against each other, work with you, even if uh, it does involve working together with this elf. Right, right. Oh, yes, hammer is awesome as well. I think you have to save his archers. What he was shouting at. Oh, he's moving on, so maybe not that part anymore. <laughs> so, with that, what happens when you recruit an orc? Like, what is the benefit of having him with you? That is a good question. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> give too many spoilers give... away then, okay. but basically, 
The other thing that's really cool with these guys is we're bringing in new skills and abilities. So, for example, you can see this guy's hammer, which is incredibly effective at smashing and bringing down walls and taking down enemies. So, on the one hand, he's obviously incredibly useful to have by your side in a fight. But on the other hand, we also want to give you um, some different ways to experience the fort assaults rather than just the, the straight up battle. So right. by picking the right allies, working with them and taking them into the assault, uh, really opens up sort of new ways to take down the forts and uh, bring some new Oh, what? I wasn't watching. <laughs> Thanks, well, mate. This Help could, me out. This Come could on. be another opportunity to do it. for you uh, to introduce the, the new healing that exists for... Oh, that's exactly right. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh. Let's make some space. <laughs> maybe not yet. No, maybe not yet. So, another thing <laughs> where El Tario is just really just a better person than Talion, let's be honest. You're just, you just, like, morally so. Oh! <laughs> is just a morally superior person is she's also not going to use the ring for the purposes of draining health from others. And because of the power of Galadriel and the light of Galadriel, mm -hmm. um, she is in fact able to heal herself in combat as well. So right. Instead of draining that from the Exactly. Individual. She is just a better human being. It's cool to see your health going up whilst poisoned. Whilst poisoned, yeah. yeah. Hard to poison her. I really just even love her, her new movement as well, just sort of elven agility. Oh, absolutely. Like, oh, look, this would be a fun time to turn everybody into a big old loop of ignition. Oh, I, haven't got, I haven't got, where's my own? Oh, yeah, no, you don't have it yet. Ah, no, so we still, we haven't... Have no, you have unlocked it. Uh, you just don't have the mic. Oh, because of the, uh, uh, this is a really early, like, level, the character. Also, uh, what was the other one? Yeah, really early level, so I haven't leveled her up a lot yet. I love that this is a... Disappear it is. Ooh, more story. He thinks it's so important. Why isn't he? Oh, look at his plans. This is my masterpiece, she elf. My shrine to orc greatness. To Mordor itself. It's a shrine to something. You did great work here today. And with my archers gone, I'm going to need protection. I don't pay much, but you'll have no shortage of glory. <laughs> Consider yourself higher. <laughs> I yeah. won't disappoint you. Oh man, I love that line. So we did get a skill point, but I don't want to show them a bunch of the uh, abilities yet. I think I would like to kind of do it if we're playing with them and they see them in action. I think that's cool, but I'll let them like actually optimize and figure it out in, what, five days? Five days. So oh. I really like to uh, make you guys wait on that one. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so fun to just have the... Building the connections with recruiting these guys oh, through absolutely. actual relations and gameplay uh, rather than just suffer me now. Oh, totally. I see a couple of people saying El Tario has a wraith and uh, no, actually. She has, uh, she has the ring of power from Calabrimbor, so it means, hand. yeah, she certainly is visible in the wraith world because of that. Um, in the same way that Frodo was when mm -hmm. he had on the ring or the other ring race. So right. yeah, that is a consequence of, of having the ring of power. But she doesn't have like a... A separate wraith. It's yeah. all, yeah, yeah. She's on her own. Indeed. So with that, um, feel free to run around a little bit or you, I can just continue to ask you a couple questions because um, there I were... I've got a skill point. But I, you you do you have a skill point. I'm, I'm telling you you can't yet. It's, uh, but I mean, one of the things that I thought was pretty fun... Uh, that you also wanted to talk about, but let me make sure I get some of these questions. Um, so these guys can work with us. Can any of these guys we work with betray us at any point? Uh, well, no yeah, comment. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, I really like the chain move version of it. I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, well they're not, they're not magically compelled by the, the power of the ring to follow you. So, you know, if they decide that you are worth their loyalty, then absolutely they're going to be able to change their minds on that. Cool. So, there are some moves that have carried over, like the, what we're calling the Spirit Strike, which is similar to the um, Shadow Strike. <laughs> I love all the new animations that go with there too. Is this the tell you? ones are great. Oh yeah, the dodge, the dodge, and the rolls. People are, uh, is it February sixth? Yeah, February sixth. So five days, you can count them. 
I'm gonna hold up my hand for a second. So other questions that we have. Uh, we showed off the light ability that you're burning people up, and you're showing some of the other examples of it, and some of the similarities that do still exist. Now, before we jump too far into it, because we're gonna also have, um, if you want to stay, you're welcome to. When a threat comes in, we do some focusing on a legendary gear set that we want to show everybody. Which oh wow, cool. uh, that he will be here in about seven minutes. So, but I have a couple other things that I want to chat to you about. If you remember, or we can talk to, which is uh, some of the free DLC that comes with Blade of Gladiator oh, yes. for all the players, not just the buyers of this, but also like what different changes you'll be getting to interact with. Uh, do you want me to rattle one off and you want to talk to it? Sure. Or? Cool. Uh, this so one of the things that I'm pretty stoked about is that they're going to be new orc traits, and what I mean by like a new orc trait is if you guys remember something like, um, let's say, I'm trying to think of one, one of my favorites. Oh, if you, you know, like throwing bombs or that kind of thing, if you were a destroyer. Well, a good one is the hammer. The hammer That we just around. saw yeah. from the architect. So all of the traits we've added in for these new orcs, they're not the only guys who are going to get those traits. Right. Yeah. So in the Shadow of War main game, you will have guys who are hitting the ground with the same cr crashing and that kind of thing. Or another one of mine that I'm actually, I'm, oh man, there's, I have a couple of them written up there. Do you have a preference on me saying one or hiding one of those? Oh, I see. Uh, skins are cool. Skins are cool. It's a, this one I think is really interesting. Oh, yes. Should, can we talk about that one? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Now, that one I think is cool. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Sappers. Oh, we got a motor. Yes. <laughs> I can see like, his teeth. Like yeah, well, that's the effect of the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A dentist. So, <laughs> open up the Mordor <laughs> dentistry <laughs> process. It's a uh, hello, we just gotta pull him out again. Uh, so, one of the things that exists in the free DLC, besides like hitting the ground and causing you know, tremors and damage that way from some Ologs, they're going to be what we're kind of. Or it's a, the best way to describe them is that you will have gifts from your followers. Uh, they will, and we'll, you'll see what that is actually. I'm not gonna explain it too much, but just know that your followers. How we'll do some other things where they'll come and provide you something. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. There'll be some other things like uh, photo mode. We'll have more enhancements and we'll do a stream that we'll be focusing on that. Uh, I think we've already talked about the skins, but you'll be able to play as Galadriel in like the actual main game with the as skin. As Eltariel. Oh, Galadriel. Excuse Eltariel. <laughs> it's okay. Galadriel in her dress will show up with two swords. It'll be awesome. Let's see. And uh, this one is actually one that I'm really excited about because everybody's been very interesting about. Uh, so for those of you who found that Troy Baker at the end of uh, Shadow of War going during the domination Oh yeah, sequences. actually, yeah, what are you talking about? That's one of the best. Yeah, you want, so to, happy you want about that one? That. Yeah, so we've got um, new VO for Dark Talion, um, for those, and for, for some other stuff as well. So yeah, yeah through the Shadow Wars, Dark Talion is going to have... Um, so it's new VO, but voiceover, meaning that you will have him say things. It won't be just grunting, which I personally loved the grunting, Troy Baker. He will, he will still periodically <laughs> grunt. There will still be the odd grunt here and there, but um, yes, he will <laughs> have other grunt. lines as well around, uh, yeah, uh, uh, missions, and uh, domination. Yeah, that's. So there will every once in a while be a grrr still for you know people like me who loved it. Uh, but it was, there was, there's new VO for it, and uh, one of the other things that I want to hint at that it will exist as well, which is that there will be some changes a little bit to not all behavior and that kind of thing, but marksman orcs, for example, have will have a slightly different AI where they're more likely to get you from above and various things like that, which is going to be lots of fun. Oh, he moans no more. And the bombs are flying off. He's still trying to, You can take a picture of this beautiful moment. Oh. <laughs> and new gems. That's right. And new gems. It's, uh, we'll, we'll let you guys discover more about those new gems and that kind of thing as we go to it. Um, but we have three minutes before our lovely bread comes in. And so he'll be showing up soon. Oh, the stats page as well. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. It's, a. Uh, you know, I thought that would take longer. You did very well with the architect mission. That was fun. I just love the light. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the light and what it does. Uh, so, when you shine light on a character, do you want to actually walk through the explanation a little bit more in depth? Yeah, or? so the um, the light which projects from the gauntlet mm -hmm. so of Galadriel, 
and also from the brooch. Mm. So it's the power from that that is used for to heal you. Mm -hmm. um, so really, you know, it's the, the light of Galadriel as Frodo was carrying in the file right. um, of Galadriel, so to light our way in dark places. And as that builds up, as that blinds your enemies, once they're blinded, then they're vulnerable right. to be immediately um, finished off as well. The other thing where she's cool as well as the, the light, I think, is with her bow. So in combat, whereas Talion's got his quick throw just with the daggers, um, but he can do them infinitely, but they're not as powerful. Mm. She can quick throw using the bow. So it'll spend an arrow, but it's a lot more powerful right. for, for throwing daggers as well. That's a, that's a fun one, for sure. Actually, if you could, um, whilst doing the bow quick shot or holding out the light, get a photo mode going so we can kind of show off a little bit. The light? Yeah. Did we Oh, hang on, I, I get my, it's a so little hard. My you, you need like an octopus finger okay. situation. Oh, <laughs> see if you can on. do it. This is the challenge. Oh, have we got, you've turned photo mode off, haven't you? I have not. I'm clicking. It, it's Y and the stick in. Oh, it's a terrible <laughs> joke. It's myself being eviscerated. That's atrocious. It's okay. You could, I wanted to when you were talking about showing the, how the light comes from the uh, gauntlet. I wanted to try to take a shot where that was going on, but it would require you to do the stick and B and Y at the same time. It's pretty close. Yeah, down a bit. A bit of the gauntlet. It's dropping the blade. I just love the, the missing fingers. Oh yeah, it's good fun. Let's see. So I'm ch looking through chat right now. Feel free to ask questions. Um, and we'll be able to answer to more of those things. It's another guy with the light effect hitting him. So, uh, oh, there was a question which is, uh, so there are new pieces of armor for Altario. In fact, we're gonna show you guys in a little bit once we have uh, the designer of the abilities in the armor comes in. Look at all these other missions. There are tons, we're not doing them. <laughs> no. No. I the name. Oh, can, can I just tease the just names? show the names? Who the yeah. Bo Morgoth could be? Yeah. Actually, teasing the names is cute. Go ahead. Uh, how do we initiate the DLC? You download it on February 6th. Oh, but to play it once you're in, it's just in through the quest menu. Right. Yep. Yeah. And it's uh, also when you're doing start game. That's another one. So, we're, I won't tell you how many skills are going to be. There are going to be a bunch of new ones, but you'll see. Let's see. Who's the voice actor for Talion Nazgul, asked Dark Clyde? That would be Troy Baker. Yes. Troy Baker is the voice of Talion. And Laura Bailey as Eltario. Mm hmm. And Jennifer Hale as Galadriel. Woo. King Cobra, yes, through the main menu is how you access it. Morgoth, people are talking about this. The Thrall. Ooh. He's cool. Cool. All right. Oh, can we talk about, um, I'm going to, one sec, guys. All right, so this is another one that I just wanted to make sure about this. So you want to drop the actual info of this one? Yeah, so we're introducing all of these um, cool new characters, Nox, like the Architect, right. like the Thrall, like the Bow of Morgoth, these different guys we're going to encounter. Right. Um, and they're, of course, legendary orcs. But when you get the DLC, all of those guys are also available to go back into the main game through the garrison as well. So right. I, think, I mean, that's really exciting. So we get all these new legendary orcs, and that's cool. But I think I'm even more excited about the fact that the new abilities that they all introduce oh, also go throughout the entire uh, Nemesis system as well. I think that's really fun. So, as a player, there's going to be like that all the story orcs that exist in the game you can now bring over to the main game Shadow of War and have that, like all those friends. So, if there's any particular orcs that you think is really cool that you like here, and uh, then they all follow the same general orc behavior, right? So, you can make them an enemy if you wanted to. And Absolutely, gonna... yep. So, for those of you who really want to go up against uh, an evil version of Olog Italian. Da Vinci, yes. then uh, you're totally welcome to if you want to do that. And of course the thing we're not showing here today is um, the story of Altario going up against uh, 
uh, Doc Talion himself. Yeah, it's, uh, we'll let you guys have fun and discover some of that stuff. Someone's asking us to die to a grunt. He's like, do you want to see a captain show up? Is that the, the mindset? Or the death taunts. The death taunts. I mean, so one thing is, because she has the Ring of Power, uh, she does, in fact, come back after dying. Um, can El Tario no, not mount Beast if she refuses to dominate? Um, That's correct. Uh, no. She can mount Oh, her. sorry. I'm thinking of <laughs> Baron or something. <laughs> Silly me. Yes. She has to mount the Ring Let's of Power. Let's not yes. talk about desolations yes. later. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> So, yes. uh, El Tario can totally mount Beast still. Oh, we weren't supposed to go in here. Oh, we were. They weren't. tricked us. Oh, no. Uh, we were tricked. Uh, Turn it oh, off. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah! <laughs> 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 Not yet. Silly. We were wanting Cunning. to hide some things. Wanted to hide some things. Okay. So, we got to get we gotta get Brett in here. He should right. be showing up sooner now. Do you want to, to round him up? Yeah, if you All can. All right. I will round Brett you're, up. You're welcome to come back if you'd like. Thank you. Mike, it's that always a pleasure to have you here. I'm looking forward to this. I'm just looking forward to playing at home. It's, it's good. Guys, yeah. we're going to play some more too. I just, we had to hide real quick because you tricked us. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh man. There is a poor Ooh. substitute for the Undying Lands. Oh man. I have asked much of you, Altario. But you know what is it <laughs> They got you. Well, I hope you guys didn't see what we were trying to hide. I think I covered it in time. Uh, but while we wait for just a moment, excuse me as I brutalize a guy real quick. <laughs> Thanks, Dark Sun. Uh, Alright, let me just clear out for a moment. Get our Brett in here. And I'll let you guys look at these gorgeous gems and wonder what could they be? What could they mean? Whoa, there's another one. So, and there's a comment that I saw, which I want to make sure. You know, I, I guess I'm going to go back up. <laughs> back up the Palantir. Or, excuse me. Hi, dear. We can watch the replay later. Psh. Brett Kanan. Oh, yeah, he needs it. You know what? While he's coming in, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to walk you guys through what I wanted to show. We were talking about gear, right? Some cool pieces of gear. See some gems, doing some gem things. Let me, uh, real quick, show you guys the Pharaoh Legendary gear. Because that's what we were talking about today. See, there is still massive changes in the character's design. You can still mix and match if you prefer. So. The cloaked orc is sick. Oh yeah, he's pretty fun. So now, let's talk a little bit about this. Today, Brett and I, when Brett shows up specifically, we're going to ask him some more questions and have you guys deliver some more questions as well. Uh, but we're going to be talking about and showing off the set bonuses. Specifically the set bonuses. Now, the reason why I'm saying specifically the set bonuses is if you look above the set bonuses, where we have the legendary bits, you will see that things like well-timed counters instantly kill enemy grunts. Oh, uh, now we have Mr. Beautiful and Talented Brett Cutler showing up. Do you <laughs> oh, you have a water. <laughs> You're coming in with a beer. <laughs> I was like, is that where you've been? <laughs> uh, no, this is water. This is water. Yes, it it's is water. water. Oh, it's it's water. <laughs> Everybody, the beautiful and talented Brett Cutler. Oh, hey, every oh, you're all bigger now. Yeah, they're all bigger right now. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's much easier to read. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that we have in here is that we just started showing them the and, like the designs of the new armor set. And mm. there's many different legendary sets. Yeah. And you, in fact, are the guy who designed a lot of these abilities. Indeed I did. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, like I mentioned, we can chat about, or we're going to show off the set bonuses, and then we'll chat about the other sure. abilities. Uh, but yeah, you know, have some fun. But if you'd like, let's start with the very simple one, which is, what was the idea on how to separate the Altarial experience from, like, the Talion experience? Sure. Well, she is an assassin. Right. So I kind of wanted to emphasize some of those aspects. She's uh -huh. quick. She's fast. She's an elf, so she's really good with, at ranged. Uh -huh. um, and her stealth is, like, her ability to pop in on a situation and just, like, wreak havoc all of a sudden. Right. Not to be trifled with. Not to be trifled with, um, Sometimes we emphasize her new abilities, mm -hmm. like playing up the new stuff she can do. There's certain things. Cone of light. Mm. It's a good one. Yeah. You've been playing around with that? It's a... Uh, 
Mike and I totally were just burning things. <laughs> and he actually, so we didn't plan to show people ignited, but yeah. a, a dude surprised us and he just killed him and ignited yeah. him. And I was like, well, I didn't, oh well, <laughs> ignited everybody. Oh, now people are questioning Light Trap. That We're just hinting at things. You'll see in Tuesday, remember, February 6th is Tuesday. So, yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Um, but sometimes she gets to play similar to Talion's Domain. Like, she can control beasts. Uh -huh. She can ride them. Um, and so she has a gear set based on commanding beasts that does a bunch of different stuff from what Talion gets. Talion's beast set, uh, some of you guys might have it, is about summoning beasts faster. Uh -huh. um, it's about being able to mighty shot them right. and take them over right away. Maybe this, maybe this. I don't know. I'm having fun because it's. I'm just showing the names of abilities, and then they have things. Are related. you teasing people? Oh yeah, I love it. I mean, seriously, like look at it. They're like, what's a light trap? What's an elven star? It's like I don't know. Uh, elven star. <laughs> I'm having fun. Please continue, Brett. Um, what else? So her gear mm -hmm. um, has uh, a primary property. Just like Italian, kind of based on the set, the set theme. Right. But because we were able to hand pick the second one, when when Italian gets legendary gear, the second property is is randomly generated. Right. Randomly generated. Mm-hmm. So you you can get you get that opportunity to be like, oh, I got the fiery warmonger set, and I mm -hmm. got a really good secondary fire property on it. Right. Or maybe you got something else that kind of goes well with it. Hers is uh, hand picked with with new attributes for both, so it really starts to build into certain play styles. Okay. So the idea being that you yourself chose each one of these and crafted them sure. so that when you're playing as Altara, it's way more focused in designing a build. It really is, and because she doesn't have like the entire network of telling, she's like more compact, uh -huh. we can really push how far you can go. We can do things that we would never be able to pull off with Talion just because we're worried about like... Uh, Shadow War balancing right. and stuff like that. That's um, what... And it's more here. It's like, wouldn't it be cool if? And there's nobody going. No, that's just unreasonable. Right. So basically, the, any that wouldn't it be cool if is what we got. <laughs> I like that. Also, if you guys note, uh, we killed Aslar for this one. Aslar yeah. of the caves specifically. So. Oh, you get your. Did you talk about the new UI for the gear? No, this UI actually. If you guys notice the the feral indicator up here, yeah, this is gonna go over to Shadow of War main game as well. Yeah, yeah. So you guys will be able to see more easily what levels everything is, and uh, it totally refreshes like how it looks and where where the guy you killed goes and all that stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. So this is actually the new UI that will show up in Shadow of War main as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so uh, somebody noticed the gear challenges as well. So one thing that's changed the gear challenges for her are more the way that you acquire them and the way that you upgrade them right are more based on a challenge mm -hmm. uh with talion you're getting new gear all the time so a lot of what the gear challenges have to walk a fine line between uh this is this is going to take too long so i'm just going to leave it alone right and this is kind of a fun thing to do while i'm doing it hers are this can actually be a challenge like yeah Figure out how it works. Kind of figure out how the mechanics Kill work. Kill a drake while mounted on a graug. <laughs> yes. Like this is that, so it's almost like you're you're creating a bit of a puzzle that sh creates yeah. the mastery of understanding of how yeah. to play. Also, have you done that? I have not done it that. It is so cool looking. Should we try to find a graug? Uh, sure. I mean, may maybe that's what we'll do with this. Just let everybody look at this guy again. Isn't he sexy? And we're going like off. Okay. So just so you're aware, um, we. Uh, Anything about Mr. Mr. Italian of the Nazgul, we are not talking about right now. Just as a reminder. I, I don't know anything. About exactly, and I'm reminding all you guys that, ha ha ha. Um, but now, and also, we haven't talked about the gems specifically. I'm letting people discover what that will be and how they work. Mm. Um, but it should be relatively obvious to anybody who's playing, especially because, as we talked about, there's still legendary gear that exists. And we're just not going to show you how you specifically go after those orcs and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to play, actually? Sure. Yeah, I mean, in fact, we have to do all the set bonus abilities as well. We're going to... Uh, don't go to army screen. Also. I need to... <laughs> Reverse the camera, of course. Um, I'm never going to play uh, because of that alone. So we want to show that Cone of Light does damage to uh, beasts. 
because it normally does not, now it can. Mm-hmm. And we also want to show that when you've dominated the beast, it will immediately join your side once um, you have multiple beasts because they yeah. spread out like in waves. Well, do you remember that there's a Shadow of the Past mission in Island, or in uh, Nerd. <laughs> Nerdnet. <laughs> we're, we're not pre-launch anymore. <laughs> Using my dev terms here. <laughs> um, but there's a mission where you have to ride a dire caragor. Uh-huh. And as you ride it, it like Does breaks. It, it breaks all the other caragors out of the cages. Yeah. Um, and they all join your side. And that feels really cool when it happens. So I kind of wanted to get that feeling again. Uh-huh. But do it wherever you are. So her, it's her force that bonus. When you are mounted, you are just like the leader of the pack. Mm-hmm. Also, feel free to use any ability that you want to, but if you're, we have skills to unlock, but if you want to quickly um, unlock some of those, I want to hide it because I don't want people to look and see it yet. Well, here's the ability I'm gonna use. <laughs> Ammo! <laughs> but I'm just giving you a heads up that if you want to unlock it and use that ability, I'm gonna hide it real quick, but you can use it in the game. Okay, but we're, we're gonna let people be like, what the hell is that? And try to figure it out. That's the plan. That's an interesting question. Why no dire grab or dire drake? I, I don't. I mean, we have the grounds that are uh, of the super other abilities. You can dominate them right now with just kidding. Oh, I don't know. I see what you mean. Up, 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 up. Hide? Okay. Yeah. Hiding. Hiding. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Look at these eyes just above our heads. There you go. Just look at these. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. You're good. I think you're I got good. what I need. You're good. You're good. Good buddy. Can we do that? No comments. Blast him down. Get on my new friend. All right. That chair is for hiding. So anyway, now we're going to be able to demonstrate and show you guys what happens when you have a bunch of other dudes showing up while she's mounted. Remember to eat dudes? There you go. Okay, is enraged. Some Immediately, coming. two characters hey have just instantaneously dominated. If you wanted a pack... <clears throat> a grab leading a pack of caragors. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to your cat? Well, you know. Oh man. Just oh, knocks man. that guy out of there. Not. That Jeez. What works travel to the main game naturally without player input? Uh, they go to your garrison. Is your specific question? Uh. I missed who asked that question, but they don't arrive dominated. They become dominated when they're nearby you and you have the full, uh, or the set bonus of four on. Inverting the camera is an abomination. Be nice. Uh, Gatho Blaster, I'm not ignoring YouTube chat. I'm answering questions for you guys. There you go. Got a new Karagor, buddy. No new Karagor. We have lots to show you guys. So we've now shown the ability to dominate multiple guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's we can try to do that step. I think going after a Drake, showing that like crowd and unlocking that. But that will be you might have to take yeah. off some of the set because otherwise you'll be dominated when it comes near you. Well, I or just get off the base. Uh, oh, that could work too. Um, can you put the main main game orcs into DLC? Uh, there isn't a garrison transfer into Blade of Galadriel. Uh, main reason I, I think so that's the case I don't yeah I don't think we have that because specifically from uh, Galadriel's point of view she doesn't want to use guys like that so yeah now you can see his health's going down but interestingly you also dominate the guy that's like, oh nice. Get down. <laughs> hurt him down till he's dominatable yeah just a little bit of that good laser let's see so finding a drake is actually part of the challenge in, in its own right. Because <laughs> you can't summon one right now. Right. Um, if I find another ground though. So right now, I've seen a couple questions about uh, other free DLC. I'm not going to talk about the other free DLC that's coming. Uh, primarily, the changes that exist, though, in the game are if it's affected Altariel, you won't necessarily see an equivalent on Talion in the main game. But if it's like new orcs and new orc traits, you should see a main game version of that, i.e. like the ground pound or a couple other things. Sure. The Bow of Morgoth, for example, might have a cool ability that you could see in other orcs again. Can you please remove all the green trees from Minas Morgul? It's Arbor Day all the time, Arbor Day all the time. Blade of Gondor, there is free DLC that comes with 
this, but this is not. Uh, the Blade of Galadriel is a uh, paid DLC that, for if you bought Gold Edition, you'll get on Tuesday completely. Nazgul fights, do they exist? I have no comment. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, don't go in the fortress. Okay. Fortress. We're keeping things away from y'all. Uh, so we can play Atariel in the main game. No comment. How many legendary sets? No comment. Glad you like the assassination. Still looking for a Drake. Hey, I sure am. Or actually just more more monster bait. More monster bait. Yeah. Just do more demonstrations. <laughs> I uh, think you should go after... Let's see. Sure. I'm, I'm going to give you a couple minutes, like... Couple more minutes to look, and then I think that'll be good. And I think people have learned what it is about the Blade of Galadriel. You didn't get to upgrade it in the fancy new upgrade. You, you haven't yet done the fancy new upgrade, but you could show. She does have other weapons that I have upgraded, so you can grab one of those real quick just to show an upgrade. Or like one of the swords. Yeah. Sword or dagger. Mm -hmm. Because there was the mm. standard one. Yeah. So that you guys can have a comparison real quick between. Her starting ability. Mm. Prince Overkill, you know what you're doing Tuesday? Nice. Uh, no comment about that question of more fortresses. No comment. And, and also... Two different colors. The two different colors. Well, you can see when she has them on her back. Yeah. There's the two different sheets. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she'll use them both for her attacks. Oh, that makes perfect sense because she yeah. has this, the dagger and then the main sword. Right. But right. she doesn't discriminate that much. Oh, that's, I mean, that makes sense because we had that in, uh, uh, like, oh. <laughs> I do that. We had that in Shadow of War main game as well, where this is where you had, the, you know, the, but in my head, I guess I didn't imagine having double color blades. Will you only be able to play in Cure Thunder? Um, I'm not going to tell you how many regions you can play with. Uh, that's how I'm going to do that. Uh, it's more than one. <laughs> It's, uh, but I think actually at this point, we've given you guys a lot of enjoyment and excitement to see what can happen. I had to get this whole legendary set before I showed you guys all this. Uh, there are story missions. There are, there's, there's other orc recruitment things that you're going to have to do. <laughs> He's, Brett's having a good time, just knocking people off and the he wall. he spun 360 degrees in the midair, in midair. <laughs> Off of the ledge. Nice. Oh, that's so good. I'm having you. Uh, I like that you just. I'm having you just play around. With it. I think that looks. That's good because I want to show off the different animations and different like versions. Like that like, run with the double yeah. slashing. Matthew Swift wants a clarification on the free and pay DLC. The po the comment is basically if you buy the game, and uh, we will have free DLC that is arriving on Tuesday. We also have the Blade of Gladiol DLC arriving on Tuesday. So to be as clear as possible, that means that if you own the main game, but didn't buy Blade, you still have access to all that free stuff. I want you to see the one that makes you blind. If you have purchased Blade of Gladiol or the Gold Edition, then you will also have access to this. Just want to be clear. <laughs> Blade of Gondor, why do you take so much damage? I, uh, right now we're on Nemesis difficulty. So. I don't know. I'll tell you for that one. So there's going to be a video that will explain the changes come with the update. David MB 115 There will be streams, in fact, that we'll talk about the changes of EDLC, walking through the photo mode and that kind of thing. What is the free stuff? We've only hinted at it, we haven't given it all to you, um, but note that there will be new orc traits that are related to what we've seen with the orcs. Things like when the architect was hitting the ground and ghouls were coming up, there's also one where he hit the ground, which does damage. Um, though I don't recall if the architect, actually, he's the only one who gets the ghoul, but there is a ground pound for the bulldogs now that causes damage, specifically yeah, to build Yeah, seismic strength. Yeah. Oh, he's just gonna fall down. He's just gonna fall in a cool way. Oh, buddy. But do not, if you're, do not use that skill point yet, alright? You gotta give me a lot of headroom before we do so. Um, is there a free beards DLC for orcs? No comment. <laughs> like, do orcs normally have to pay for beards? I guess. I guess they do. Like, I could, I could totally see if their captain institutes a, a beer fee. Or a beard fee a beard in Grog. 
Let's see. Okay, I feel like that was a good demonstration of what we have with the legal ad drill. Now, what I want to talk about, real quick, is a reminder for you guys, and I'm going to show this in a second. Feel free to run around and do some stabby stabs. Uh, I want to remind everybody that this month, in main game Shadow of War, as well as if, uh, if excuse me, yeah, in main game Shadow of War, when you're doing challenges, specifically our, uh, like, the weekly challenges that come up, like the one that's happening right now, Suffer Me Now, which is where you shame your enemies to complete this week's community challenge, well, you will be getting legendary training orders in those. Meaning, and very importantly meaning, that you'll be able to make a legendary orc, right? So a legendary training order, you do the shaming a bunch of guys, you get the training order, you apply that, you get yourself a legendary orc, you kill the guy, get legendary armor, or have yourself with a legendary orc. And this is going to be given out for, I think, every single week challenge we have this entire month. So, for those of you guys who've been looking to get more legendary orcs, make sure to be doing the challenges this month, because you will be getting all those legendary orcs. And you'll also be likely playing a lot of Blade of Galadriel and wanting to see what these new abilities do in uh, the like main game when you're seeing some of those other guys. Yeah, that'll be pretty fun. I want to point you guys also to it. I'm going to uh, have to stop the gameplay now, because we're going to... Actually, you know what? Hey, hold on, I think I can <laughs> show it over here real quick. <clears throat> no, it's... Let's see. This questions, it's so much fun. Alright, but uh, why does she have a spear? It's a glaive, right? It's an elven tool. But I think, actually, I think with that, I think it's, we've, we've covered everything that we wanted to cover for the stream. She can do mounted. She can do mounted quick shot? Ooh, that looks good. That looks really cool. I didn't know we could do that. She's just like, no. I'm gone. Alright. See you guys uh, upcoming. But just, uh, it's. Actually, I'm going to jump it off real quick because I want to make sure to remind you guys of this. Go ahead and pause and we will crash out of it. Or not crash, quit out of it. <laughs> Go ahead, quit. Oh, quit the actual game. Uh, so, if any final questions while I. Grab to remind you guys and show you the challenges again because remember it's pretty cool. Also, this is beautiful. I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. Also, one of you guys was asking about uh, certain characters in the like. You can see the architect on the right side. You can see him uh, right behind Brett. Nope, nope, you can't. <laughs> but you also can see some people right here, right? <laughs> well, I'm trying to touch their head. There you go. You can see these people right here. Looking close. Look nice and close. There's a couple questions about this. But that's all I'm giving you guys with it. It's cool. I like the the symmetry. The symmetry? I think it's yeah. very cool. Absolutely. Everything's unfolding behind her. Good, good way to describe it, the unfolding. So, what I want to make sure that I show everybody real quick, though, <laughs> is that I want to show them, let's see, Nazgul Beard DLC. Does the uh, Champion 617. Just go ahead and check... Uh, the VOD, once we're done. What was your question? Does right. the architect betray you like Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he builds this beautiful statue and tells you it's for you. And then suddenly he reveals it and it's not for you. And it's sad. You just cry internally. Just like, why would you do such a thing? Uh, <laughs> uh, Seth Price, how do you recruit orcs? Well, I recommend that you watch the VOD immediately after uh, we turn it off. Because we actually were chatting about it. And let me bring grabbing the thing. Cool. All right. So the important thing that I wanted to point out to y'all, as a reminder, is that in our official announcements, we talk about the Blade of Galadriel stuff that we're talking about this month. We talk about the elite challenges that we're going to be doing this month. And we're going to talk a little bit about the community challenges, which I highly recommend. Because, once again, if you want to get yourself legendary gear that you're trying to complete, do these challenges, get yourself legendary training orders, plus other crazy good training orders like extra fire weapons and things like that that end up helping your orcs <clears throat> so anyway give beards oh man anyway guys it's uh, i see that there's some questions that were that were being asked here still um but we're gonna stop now with this because it's coming out on the sixth so sounds good to me yeah it's coming soon brett thank you for coming here yeah today. no happy would to you, be here would you help me say goodbye to everybody as we just read off names and tell them that it was a joy to have them here yeah huh. so J Z Andernan, thank you gatha blaster thanks for coming by dmc fun thank you <laughs> bye, -bye.
James Rack One, thanks for coming. Zandace, the T Boys, amazing insanity. Morley Crabs, Sam Ross, Roasted Boys, <laughs> Strength of the Imperium, Hunter Affleck, Chow Brett from JBJ Blaze. No, I'm I'm Brett. Sorry, Brett. Yo, thanks, Death guys. Crow. Gandalf, do you want to try catching it? See if you can get some of the names. Shadow Dragus. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Kelvin Joker, six. Super Epro, David MV, go. <laughs> Anthony Vandal. Uh-huh. Uh, Ryan Lord. Carrion. Jonah Witness. Kevin Dinkins. The Pineapple. Team Mars Herodin. Wars God. Lamentia. Verban. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. NK Bulls 96. Oh, there's this pineapple. Matthew Swift. Hey, I got that one. <laughs> Mike Stoneplot, Zawick Stone Pilot. This pineapple again. Beer DLC, we hear you. <laughs> this Bursanor, fearless, no name. Bye. <laughs> uh, did you get Sam the Sweet's dog? I saw it, I, but I didn't say it. Mm. Sam the Sweet dog, Super Wasp King, King Cobra. I think I said it again. This pineapple. <laughs> Thanks for this. <laughs> oh, cozy zombie. Hello and goodbye. We're finishing up Bladed Shadows. Sharp Steph, day made. Happy to do There's so. The angry Dorito. I will see you guys next week, Thursday, where we talk more about Blade of Galadriel and show you more things. But, you know, at that point, I hope you guys have played it a lot because it comes out on the 6th. That's five days. Have one of those little advent calendars, like the ones that have 24 days on them with chocolate, but just eat five a day. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> have the best advent calendar ever. Just tons of chocolate. <laughs> Demand well, so, of the chocolate. So you combat. download one fifth of it every day. Download and one. You <laughs> Well, you can't play it. You can, but you can. But it's just like it's just it's like one bar of the screen. Yeah. You just see your feet as you're running around. Yeah. Oh yeah. When does the next DLC get released? You mean when is it? You mean the thing that I'm working on? <gasps> no, 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 no. February. <laughs> New. <laughs> MDP did that too. He's immediately he started talking about desolation. I was like, hey, <laughs> I'm not talking about it. <laughs> I'm clarifying. Oh, is man. it this Tuesday, Jared? It's this Tuesday. Oh my Brett. gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> Jared, your calendar is for sale here. Amnesics, see you and wonderful to see you. Casanova Kid, nice to see you as well. Emperor Aaron, nice name. Adam Atkinson, Golem DLC. Ah. Uh, B Golem. Bossification, do we get Altario skin in the main game? Yes, you do. That is part of it. What up, Jared? Who's the non bearded guy behind you? Behind you, me? I mean, <laughs> behind me is Altario, <laughs> beside me. Brett, color. <laughs> oh man, slowest download ever, Burner, any five days. Oh, man. All right, guys, I'm going to turn this off so that those of you who missed the VOD have a chance to watch it. It's been a joy to see you all, and I can't wait to see you guys again next week and uh, to see what you guys are going to do with Miss Eltariel right here. That's her proper name, right? If you, if you find an elf, <laughs> why don't you call her Miss Eltariel? Miss Eltariel. <laughs> Very important to be polite. All right, see you, loves. Good to see you. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Oh, let's be back soon.